I'm simply trying to, like most art, describe the world and cope with the world that we live in. And I live in crazy times, I would say, you know. I'm interested in how you make an exhibition a kind of journey. I like ghost trains. I always wished my exhibitions were more like ghost trains. That you would somehow feel like you were leaving the world outside. Inanimate objects would become animate. That you would be entering a, a, a fictional space, I suppose. The exhibition, as, as well as it being very full of drawings and videos and paintings, I think there's also an element to it which has some invisible works in it. In the central space there is a stage which is mimicking the, the, the big band stages of uh, Duke Ellington or the, some of this kind of set design of Busby Berkeley. And on the stage there are many things, well, there's a video piece over two screens and the actor is describing something. The layers, the sounds, the layers and layers. And what she's describing is, um, I thought of as a sculpture. So there's a big sculpture you can't see in the middle of the room. I'm interested in expanded cinema, I guess. I'm interested in how, how the image can escape the screen and perhaps that it's all kind of come out of the screen. It's all kind of oozed out of the screen and that the, the sculptures emerge from the screen and into the space. One of the lines in the uh, video that features the actor says, trust in the visions. And I'm interested in the, the potential of what we might see, what we might hallucinate or daydream about. I'm interested in the potential of, of that being a kind of form of resistance somehow to reality, the real. It doesn't feel like wealth trickles down. It feels like something else trickles down. <laughs> it feels like that, this, uh, that these mechanisms excrete something and it's not, it's not money, um, but maybe a kind of uh, maybe a mud or a slime that we're all kind of crawling around in. You know that sinking feeling? It's real.